It's their first attempt at a rear-wheel drive full-size luxury car, and boy, did they come out swinging. It's North American Car of the Year. Our ride today is the 2009 Hyundai Genesis, just named North American Car of the Year at the North American International Auto Show. This vehicle comes out with stars and stripes all over it. A luxury vehicle for about $20,000 less than the comparable German or Japanese vehicle. Plush, luxury, sexy interior. And the sound system that you'll find in this car is the same as the Rolls-Royce Phantom. We'll take a look on the outside. We'll take a look on the inside. We're going to start right under this hood. So now we have the hood open of the 2009 Hyundai Genesis and I am joined by Harry Rizagi. Harry, tell me a little bit about what's under the hood of this car. This particular vehicle is a V6, 290 horsepower. And there's also a V8 in, in this uh, Hyundai Genesis Yes, too, right? there is. There is a, a V8. That V8 is 4.6 liter and that produces 375 horsepower. Two different transmissions. Yes, there is. The V6 has the ASIN 6-speed versus the Tau transmission of the V8. Both uh, automatic transmission with the optional shift tronic where you can drive it as a stick. Very smooth through the gear shifting, I understand, when you put these on the road. Very, very smooth. Very easy, almost to a point where you don't feel it when it's shifting through the gears. Now, this is the first rear-wheel drive for Hyundai. It is the first rear-wheel. You're absolutely correct. This is the very first rear-wheel drive car for Hyundai. And that's really because most luxury cars are rear wheel and they've moved into the luxury market and now, yes. now they're experimenting with that rear yes. wheel. And I think they've done a good job with it. Looked all underneath the hood and talked about the guts of the vehicle. Let's take a look at some exterior stylings. All right, Harry, tell me a little bit about the front styling in the 2009 Hyundai Genesis. First of all, large European looking grille. Yes, that's absolutely true. The front grille is very, it's large. Um, it gives a European style. It has a phenomenal uh, parking sensor design in the front which you could, uh, when you park the car, it'll, it'll detect two feet of, of uh, range. Now headlight, uh, those headlight segments too, they also have some nice technology embedded in them as well. They do, they have the HID um, lights, which on the technology package, uh, which is an upgraded package, um, when you turn the wheel and you go up the hill and down the hill, the, the vehicle actually self-level itself. Excellent. Now these are 18 inch wheels on this vehicle which are optional but it also comes with a different size of uh, wheel doesn't it? Yeah well standard they come with a 17 and that's in the non-technology package but once you have the technology package you put an 18 inch wheel on it. Though the 17 inch wheel will give you a better ride because it has more rubber on the tire. Excellent. Now I like this embedded turn signal. Yeah, yeah. Um, you see a lot of uh, high-end luxury cars like the Mercedes, you have uh, the Lexus and I believe some BMWs have this uh, option on there and now Hyundai has adopted that. Excellent. Well let's take a look at the rear of the vehicle. Okay, let's do. So Harry, chrome door handles and also they have an interesting piece of technology embedded right in them, right? Yes, you do. Uh, in my pocket there's a key and uh, what you can do is walk up to the, to the door handle, hit a button which will set off the uh, keyless entry so you can enter the car. So you actually don't need to take a key out and unlock it no, at all? No, you do not. That's excellent. And notice at the back here, LED lights as the tail lights. Yes, it is. And the design of that is basically for the person behind you to really, really see the vehicle that uh, they're approaching towards. Excellent. The couple of other things in the back is the battery is the back here. Yes, uh, luxury cars, uh, Mercedes-Benz for instance, has their, some of their batteries in the back for weight distribution. And this little knobbly thing on the back window. That is for your GPS system. Excellent. And your antenna and your XM satellite radio. So it helps you uplink to those uh, satellites. And aesthetically, it's, it's very pleasing and very nice. Makes it almost look like a fin on top of the vehicle. Okay, we've yes. taken a look at the outside and some of the features under the hood. Let's take a look at the real technology in this car, which is in the cabin. Okay. All right, Harry, tell me about a couple of the key features on the interior of the 2009 Hyundai Genesis. Okay, some of the key features would be the beautiful and it, the leather wrap dash in this vehicle. Um, they come two ways. It's the darker color, which is the dark burgundy, or the flat black, which will match the rest of the car. The navigation system in this vehicle is very unique because you can actually play a DVD in there with a six-disc CD changer right in the dash, and the drive info system is at, is at your touch right there um, on the console with a controller that you can actually get around very easily with, very, right? Very, very easy, yes. It's very user-friendly. Now, sound system. Sound system. Uh, there's a vehicle out there called the Royals Royce Phantom. As you know, a very expensive car. This has the same sound system, which is made by Lexicon. And they come two ways, a uh, 17-speaker system in the, in, the, uh, in the technology package versus the 14-speaker system in the non-tech package. Now, this is exactly the same sound system? Absolutely. So if Absolutely. I'm going to buy the Phantom, I'm going to hear the same thing? You are going to hear the same thing. Yes, Excellent. 
Now, there's a lot of other nice features on the inside of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those really being the way the cockpit is laid out. This yes. is a true luxury car, right? It is, it is. Uh, the leather, it has heated seats. Some of the features would be like the heated seats, uh, the dual climate, climate control where you could, you know, set maybe one side at 60 degrees and the other side at 80. Um, it also has an air, I, I say air conditioning, but it's, it's cooled seat for the driver's side. Now that also helps if you're driving along in hot sunny days. It's driving along in the summertime, uh, your body tends to perspire, so they've, the engineers have designed a uh, cooling seat system in the driver's side. That makes it really comfortable. We've taken a look at some of the key features on the interior of the 2009 Hyundai Genesis. Let's take a look at some whys to buy. Here are some ways to buy the 2009 Hyundai Genesis. First of all, can't miss out on that bang for the buck. This vehicle is going to be about $20,000 less than your comparable Japanese or German vehicle with all those luxury amenities. Second of all is the warranty, 100,000 mile powertrain, bumper to bumper five years, 60,000 miles. And finally, unlimited five years roadside assistance and that wraps up some ways to buy still to come do you have that car in your garage that you're not sure that you should repair or replace we'll find out when the ride show returns and we'll visit autocare northwest to see if you should repair it or replace it